of it is, had I initially gone to the physician's office, I would have gotten a shot and that would have been the end of it. Instead, a local man waits to get treated and then it's almost too late. Good evening. While you might be looking forward to warmer weather, the months ahead promise to be loaded with bugs of all kinds. Some may just be annoying, but Local 12's Rich Jaffe says a Delhi man recently learned a nearly fatal lesson about dealing with one creepy crawler. Rich Schemenauer recently got some bad news from a doctor. He said flat out, he said, this, this could mean death. A few weeks ago, Schemenauer was waiting for his wife at a picnic table in Montgomery. He was unaware that a brown recluse spider had gone up his pants leg. Immediately, as soon as I got in the car is when I felt, I felt a sting of some sort. I did, I think, what just about any normal person would do. I tried to take care of it at home and uh, actually had, had popped it and put some peroxide on it. And, and at that point in time, it just continued to get progressively worse, but not, not by leaps and bounds by any stretch. Initially, don't look that bad, but as they progress, they become more and more necrotic. They'll turn black. The tissue itself dies, and the only way to treat it is to uh, remove this, the tissue surgically and get all the bad tissue out to allow the good tissue to heal up underneath. Around here, wood piles are the classic place that you might find brown recluse spiders, but certainly this is not the only place where they hide. And there are some things you can do to try and prevent being bitten. For example, don't put your hands someplace that you can't see. Eight days after being bitten, headed out of town, Rich Schemenauer finally went to see his doctor. As soon as he saw it, he knew right away what it was. He said that it was a brown recluse spider and bite, and, and I, quite honestly, I was surprised. On antibiotics, Schemenauer made an almost lethal mistake and left for Easter weekend. When he returned, the bite was dramatically worse. Doctors immediately sent him to Tri Health's Good Samaritan Hospital for massive antibiotics and surgery. Within 20, 30 minutes, they were done. They had removed a, 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 an area about the size of a silver dollar, maybe about a half of an inch deep. After a few days in the hospital with a fresh perspective on procrastination, Schemenauer has a patch on his leg and a new respect for spiders. In University Heights, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. And Dr. Blatt says that he believes as global warming progresses, he expects to see more and more brown recluse bites in our area. Blatt says if you are bitten or stung and the area starts to blister, see your doctor as soon as possible. He also says that if you're bitten by a spider, try to kill it and take it to the doctor for proper identification.